Much of the world's attention today was focused on a horrific tragedy in Brazil. The death toll tonight at least 230 after a fast-moving fire broke out in a crowded nightclub. Officials say too many people and too few exits turned the club into a death trap after a rock band's pyrotechnics apparently ignited the ceiling. Many patrons were left unable to get out, overwhelmed by the smoke and, in some cases, the flames themselves. The circumstances are eerily similar to some other deadly nightclub fires the past several years, including one in this country. Today's tragedy happened in the southern Brazilian university town of Santa Maria. Police are investigating safety procedures at the site of a club fire in Brazil. Hundreds were unable to escape. So far, 233 people have been confirmed dead. Over 100 are also receiving medical treatment. Police say that a band was using pyrotechnics as a part of their performance when sealing materials apparently caught fire. Local officials say it was caused by a flare that was set off by the band on stage. Thick smoke quickly engulfs the club. Many died in the ensuing stampede as hundreds of panicked partygoers headed for the single exit that was open. One of the owners of the club is reported to have confirmed that they were in the process of renewing its license to operate and that its fire safety certificate expired last year. In the coming days, officials will need to answer questions about why a tragedy on this scale happened and how they'll ensure public safety at the major sporting events due to take place in Brazil in the next few years. A ceremony due to be held on Monday to mark 500 days to the 2014 World Cup has been cancelled out of respect for the young victims. <laughs> Footage captured on a mobile phone shows the extent of confusion and panic inside the nightclub. More than 100 people are being treated in hospital after breathing in smoke. The first funerals will be held today. President Dilma Rousseff has cut short a visit to Chile to return to Brazil. On Sunday, President Dilma Rousseff left a summit in Chile and rushed to Santa Maria. A three-day mourning period begins on Monday. Brazil has cancelled celebrations in Brasilia to mark 500 days before the 2014 World Cup. We want to give solidarity for the tragedy. President Dilma has decided the federal government will give all support necessary to the state, the city, the families, so that we can deal with the suffering and try to save the lives we can from this tragedy. An investigation into what caused the fire is ongoing, but witnesses say it started when members of a performing band lit a flare or some fireworks on stage. Media reports suggest the club had only one door and that in the initial confusion, security guards may have prevented people from leaving before paying their bar bill. Brazilian media reports quote survivors as saying the club's owners had closed off most exits to prevent customers from leaving without paying. Speaking in the Chilean capital Santiago, Brazilian President Gilma Rousseff, a longtime resident of Santa Maria State, expressed tearful condolences with the victims. I would also like to say to the Brazilian people and to the people of Santa Maria that we stand together at this time. And that even though there's a lot of sadness, we, we will pull through. Some of the bodies have yet to be identified. It is believed many of the victims died from smoke inhalation. When the fire broke out, the nightclub in Santa Maria was packed, overwhelming the building's capacity. Reports say many people were trampled in the rush for the exits. Among the things now under investigation, a pyrotechnic show going on at the club at the time. As workers combed through the charred wreckage of the nightclub on Sunday, they encountered an eerie sound, ringing cell phones. Some of the relatives and friends who placed those calls are still waiting confirmation of the fate of their loved ones.
Santa Maria's leisure centre has become a place no one wants to be. Relatives gather at the temporary morgue to identify their loved ones. The news they've been praying not to hear. We can't believe this. This is something that has left its mark on the city and will leave its mark for a long time to come. It's an enormous tragedy, very big. A lot of sadness because I lost my son in this tragedy. My son was full of life and full of health at 27 years old. Many loved ones, many people I enjoyed spending time with. True friends who ended up dying in a tragedy without any explanation.